Celebrity divorces caused by infidelity are all too common, and it's especially scandalous when it's with the nanny. This isn't even a new trend. As far back as the 80s, Mick Jagger was caught with his on-the-road nanny, and SNL alumni Joe Piscopo cheated on his then-wife with their nanny. Cheating is nothing new, but when it's with someone enlisted to help around the house, to watch the kids, or even to be a personal assistant, someone who inevitably becomes close with everyone, it's heartbreaking for everyone involved. This has become so common that in Hollywood, it's actually been given a name, the nanny factor. Right now, I am counting down the top 10 celebrity marriages that ended over nanny affairs here for you on IO. What's gravy fam? This is Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Dore coming at you with another spicy top 10 list. Subscribe for trending news updates and top 10 lists and follow the IO team on social media. All right, let's just dive right in, hey? Hey? Coming in hot at number 10, we have Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner. Right after news of Affleck's and Garner's split came out, Affleck's rumored dalliances with nanny Christine Uzunian blew up. It was rumored in August of 2016 that Uzunian was allegedly causing trouble in Tom Brady's marriage as well. Now we've placed this scandal at number 10 because it is quite unclear if this was truly the reason for their divorce. At first, Ben denied that there was ever an affair in the first place. Then Jen went on record saying that they divorced before the nanny was ever an issue. However, at the time, Ben Affleck completely denied anything had gone on between himself and Christine after the pretty brunette was photographed outside the actor's rented home in Los Angeles. Here's the kicker. It kicked. She was seen dropping off a bottle of champagne and chatting to Ben outside the house in June, soon after news of the divorce broke. Kinda shady if you ask me, especially if you're not gonna add Aperol spritz to it. But wait, there's more. Meanwhile, a close confidant of Christine tells a different story. The friend tells E! News that according to Christine, their great employment arrangement, she had previous experience with high profile families, ultimately transitioned into something inappropriate. What started out as flirtation quickly turned into more. But Jennifer Garner didn't let her go for a while because she was a sweet girl and her children adored her. When Ben Affleck and the nanny began to hang out more, she told her friend that he would set covert meetups and their professional relationship turned romantic. Eventually, she couldn't contain her excitement and spilled the beans that she was dating Ben Affleck. She told her friends she was completely in love with him. Sounds to me like Ben got caught, Jen tried to avoid a scandal, and they both lied about it so their kids wouldn't read about it in the future. Um, but hey, we'll let you decide about that. At number 9, Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rossdale. Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rossdale called it quits in August of 2015, and it didn't take long for rumors to surface claiming that Gavin had an affair with an unnamed woman. Turns out that unnamed woman with whom Rossdale had a three-year fling with was Melinda Mann, the babysitter for their three sons. Many news outlets cited that a source claimed that Gwen had suspicions that Gavin and the nanny had become romantically involved, and that Gwen had fired her. A few months later, US Weekly cited sources of its own claiming Gwen had discovered text on the family iPad, which was linked to Gavin's phone. Those texts pointed to a physical relationship between Gavin and the family nanny. Years later, Gwen has not been quiet about the reason for their divorce. She's written many songs about it and even spoke publicly about it more recently when she started dating her co-judge, Blake Shelton, on The Voice. Next up at number eight, Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman. Ethan Hawke married girlfriend Ryan Shaw Hughes in a secret civil ceremony, according to the actor's rep. Shaw Hughes was pregnant at the time with the couple's first child, said to be a girl. So, okay, wait, sorry, did I jump ahead? Okay, let's go back to Uma Thurman, okay? So Uma Thurman has two children with former husband Ethan Hawke. So who is Ryan Shaw Hughes? Interestingly enough, Hawke and Shaw Hughes met when she was the nanny for the Thurman Hawke family, pre-divorce. The couple, of course, says that their relationship did not start until after the divorce proceedings. Hawke and Uma Thurman divorced after seven years of marriage admits allegation that Hawke cheated on Thurman with another actress on the set of one of his films. This one is a little tough to keep straight, but basically Ethan Hawke kind of likes to cheat on people. He has a history of cheating and did so numerous times before marrying one of them who just so happened to be his nanny. Coming in hot at number seven on this list, Jude Law and Sienna Miller. Jude Law and Sienna Miller ended their engagement when nanny Daisy Wright publicly detailed her affair with Jude Law in 2005, but that didn't end his and Miller's relationship for good, at least not right away. They were rumored to be engaged yet again in 2010, but split again in 2011. In a breathless tell-all interview that she sold to the newspaper, former nanny Daisy Wright, 26 years old, detailed her liaisons with Jude Law, which she said occurred in March and April while the 32-year-old actor was shooting the upcoming drama All the King's Men in New Orleans. She told the paper that they first hooked up on March 20th after attending a Robert Plant concert together and that Law made the first move. She said, I quote, he is a great lover and knows how to satisfy a woman. We couldn't get enough of each other. Oh. Okay, so if that isn't bad enough, she claims that Jude's children caught them in bed together. 
I am not surprised that when Jude and Sienna tried again, they just couldn't make their relationship work. At number six on this list, we are bringing you the late Robin Williams and his first wife, Valerie Villardi, married in 1978. They divorced in 1988 with rumors swirling that Robin Williams was having an affair with Marsha Garces, the nanny to his son, Zachary. He was also reported to have had an affair with a cocktail waitress and that affair was said to have ended his relationship with Villardi, but we have a feeling that might not have been accurate seeing as in 1989, Garces was pregnant with Williams' baby and then the two got married. They stayed together for 19 years and had two children. Similar story to that of Ethan Hawke. We're at the halfway point on this list and at number five we have Christy Brinkley and Peter Cook. You know, there's this famous quote that says, show me a beautiful woman and I'll show you a man that's tired of sleeping with her. This couldn't be more true for one of the most famous supermodels to ever exist, Christy Brinkley. In 2008, supermodel Christy Brinkley's husband of 12 years, Peter Cook, admitted to having an affair with his 19 year old assistant and sometimes babysitter, Diana Bianchi. The couple divorced later that year and had a feud in the press thereafter. Brinkley said, I quote, I just want peace and every time I have any joy or any kind of success in anything, he has to try to destroy it. That's what she said on the Today Show in March of 2012. So what was Peter Cook's response? He said, I quote, she does not want peace, she wants attention. That's what he said to page six. Meow. Meow. The worst part about this story is that the chick may have been younger, but no one can tell me that she was better looking than Christy Brinkley, like honestly. <laughs> no one is hotter than Christy Brinkley. At number four, Mel B and Stephen Belafonte. When the Spice Girls hit overnight fame with their hit song, Wanna Be, you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. I don't think that they were intending, you know, their husbands to cheat on them. Get with my friends, I think, means, uh, you know, make my friends like you, not hook up with my friends, <laughs> I think. When Mel B filed for divorce from Stephen Belafonte in 2017, she accused him of emotional and physical abuse as well as having an affair with their nanny. But it gets worse. Mel B's divorce from Stephen Belafonte turned ugly when the singer alleged her husband impregnated their nanny and arranged a sham marriage to keep her in the country. Mel B claimed her husband got their nanny pregnant before paying Lorraine 241,000 pounds to have an abortion, though Lorraine denies the affair and says she fell pregnant by another man. Things obviously got messy, but the two officially split because of the situation. All right, it's time for the top three. Let's go. Let's go. Who remembers John and Kate plus eight? The former reality stars of a TV show that showcased a couple who famously had octuplets, John was alleged to have cheated on Kate while they were still married. It was rumored that Gosselin had an affair with the couple's babysitter, Stephanie Santoro. Former waitress and single mom, Stephanie Santoro, 23 years old, claims that during the months she spent employed as John's nanny, she had a passionate affair with the star in the family home. In a hilarious and karmic twist, when Santoro gave an in-depth interview of the encounters, apparently there were nine of them, she went on record to say that if she were to rate them, quote, on the romantic end, it was nine. I wasn't looking for the pleasure part of it. If you care about someone, it's not about how good they are in bed. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the best I ever had. Imagine ruining your marriage for someone that wasn't even a good lay. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I had to, I had to, I had to. But I mean, come on. <laughs> Gosselin denied the claim, but the marriage ended soon after. At number two on this list, okay, so this one isn't exactly a nanny affair, but we had to add it because it's like bizarre. More than just a love triangle. It's more like a love square. <laughs> Shania Twain's 14 year old marriage to music producer Robert Mutt Lange came crumbling down when she found out that her best friend, Marie Anne Thibode, and her then husband had fallen for each other in 2008. The couple eventually divorced in June 2010, and Shania Twain said, it was like I was kicked off my own bus while it was moving full speed. Here's the kicker though, plot twist for ya. Shania Twain then remarried to Marie Anne's ex-husband, Frederick Thibode, in 2011. They like literally swapped husbands. Mind blown. All right, the moment you have all been waiting for at number one on this list, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver. It's one thing to cheat with the nanny, it's another to knock her up around the same time you knocked up your wife. That was the case for Terminator Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver, and nanny Mildred Baina, who gave birth to son Joseph one week after Shriver had son Christopher. To make matters worse, it took 10 years for the truth to come out. The affair came to light the day after he left the California governor's office in 2011. In the therapy session with his wife, Maria Shriver, and their four children, the actor confirmed he fathered a son with their maid, Mildred Baina. Their child, Joseph, was 14 at the time. Shriver filed for divorce shortly after the revelation. Schwarzenegger said at the time, I quote, you can't go back. If I could, in reality, be Terminator, of course I would go back in time and say, I don't know. In a 2012 interview with 60 Minutes, Schwarzenegger declined to speak about his youngest son, 
saying only, the important thing that everyone should know is that I take care of him and I take care of his mother. And I fulfill my responsibility and I'm glad to do that. Definitely one of the most scandalous modern Hollywood breakups and perhaps the worst affair in the history of celebrity nanny relationships. All right, that was a doozy of a list. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. And uh, I'm a bad babysitter, got my boyfriend in the shower. <laughs> Eric said, I may not be first, I may not be last, but when I upload, I click fast. Oh my god, that is the most beautiful rhyme I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Hooch the Pooch said, so happy that you're back in the studio. Me too. Yeah. I miss Chris. I miss Chris laughing at me behind those screens. <laughs> He can see me, but I can't see him. <laughs> Lil Archie said, you guys are really running out of ideas. Yeah, 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 you're right about that. I guess I should just quit. I'm out of ideas, guys. I got nothing. I got nothing left. I don't even have a comeback. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Many news outlets cited that a source claimed that Gwen had suspicious. Oh my god. Shaw Hughes was present. Shaw Hughes was present. Shaw Hughes was. Uh. Mel B's divorce from Stephen Belafonte turned ugly when the singer alleged that her husband impregnated their Lanny. <laughs> I gotta pray, impregnate a Lanny. Uh. Uh. That's <laughs> <laughs> I miss Chris laughing at me. I miss it. This is joking at nothing when I'm at home. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Sorry. <laughs> no Arnold. <laughs> Who remembers that? <laughs> like much mega hits? <laughs> but yeah, much on demand. Oh my god, what a show. I'm a bad babysitter. Got my boyfriend in the shower. <laughs> That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Just watch. Why did I just do that? 